Hey, it's Archer. Today I want to read to you uh, one of the emails that I just recently sent out. So I'm going to do this right now. Okay, so the title of the email is, is The Futility of Purging the World of Middlemen. So if you are not on my email subscriber list, I'm going to put a link in the description below. But this this is the type of emails that I, that I send out on a regular basis. I've been kind of behind right now because we're, we're changing our autoresponder and it's just, there's kind of a, a, uh, a mess with the... Uh, Oh, I don't know, the DNS settings, so we'll get it fixed. The Futility of Purging the World of Middlemen. An email question from a Minnesota tower asked, what's it going to take to get rid of motor clubs, eh? My knee-jerk answer, why worry about purging the world of motor clubs if your cup runneth over with cash-paying customers? But then after doing a little research, I noticed that he wasn't doing anything to get cash-paying customers in the first place. And when you notice your buddy's pants unzipped, you got to say something, right? It's your job to tell him about it. So I'm like, dude, you don't even have a website. Your Google business profile is incomplete, and there are only two likes on your Facebook page. So if you get rid of motor clubs, who are you going to work for? Now, I'm not advocating that you work for motor clubs. I'm saying you either work on things you can control, like building a strong online presence, and stop believing that these large, soulless corporations have your best interest in mind or you're always going to suck at the teat of the clubs. Have you ever seen the movie Idiocracy? It's a satirical comedy set 500 years into the future where everyone has been dumbed down and exploited by corporations who now own the government. The exploitation goes so far as to have people believe that a Gatorade-like substance is better than water for growing crops. Brondo. Um... It reminds me of the nonsense they force-fed us a few years back about natural immunity not being a thing anymore. Thousands of years of knowledge and experience out the window because bought and paid for experts said so. I don't know what you did, but if you were equally, equally dismayed at what happened and went down a rabbit hole or two searching for answers, that's okay. You're in good company. Me too. Life is like a pendulum. Once things swing too far one direction, it corrects to the other side. And I think my Minnesotan friend will eventually get it as well. The good news is, as the pendulum goes back and more people become aware of what transpired and how they were, be they were and still are being misled, they'll begin to trust media, the government, and faceless corporations less. And they'll choose to deepen their relationships with people and businesses in their local communities. This means you have a tremendous opportunity to grow your business. So, I suggest you use your time wisely. Rather than trusting motor clubs with your livelihood and being lulled away from the fundamentals of business development, concentrate on growing your online presence and use it as a vehicle to establish new relationships in your community. As for me, going forward, rather than wasting time trying to make sense of clown world, I'm, doing, I'm going to continue emailing tips and strategies, strategies to you to help you grow your business. So. If you want to get on my email list, you can certainly do so. So I, I just wanted to, I'm going to start putting out videos of the emails just in case you don't you're not subscribed. But I do suggest that you do subscribe because there's there's also special offers in there in those emails in some some instances. Not all the time. Sometimes it's just me telling you what I think about certain things and how I can help you. So if you have any questions, comment down below. If you if you have any suggestions, same thing. Thank you. Bye.